All right, Bang Bang, today is Monday. It's November 1st. Welcome to the Dog Walk, presented by Barstool Sports. Snake Draft Monday, we have another in-studio guest, second-time drafter. And also, we do have a bone to pick with this person. <gasps> we it's do? It's Rhea. I totally remembered she cheated. No. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. That right. Is right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it just hit me as I announced Rhea. What could you guys I, be talking about? Can we throw her you out? You juice the polls we with the chicks out? in the office. Twitter Nobody account. made it clear to me that you weren't allowed to do you that. You obviously don't listen. Thanks for that. And two, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that should just be, you should have the integrity to know that you can't do that. Well, just issue an apology and we'll move on. I would like to say I am sorry to every person sitting at this table. And our audience. And, and our audience. And your audience who takes the draft very seriously and with integrity. I did not know, but that is not an excuse. And I apologize, and I will not do it going forward. That's a great apology. I accept. Good apology. It was pretty good. If things kind of slip the other way, we're swapping out with Devin, though. Just That's that fine. Out. That's fine. She'll crush it. We <laughs> have the same answers. <laughs> <laughs> we worked on this together. <laughs> um, but welcome back, Rhea. Welcome cheating? to Chicago. No, we didn't actually work on it together, okay? I was trying to be nice to Devin. <laughs> Um, welcome to Chicago. You got the live show. Yes, very exciting. First time in Chicago. First time ever. First time ever. Oh wow! wow. And she's scared. I know. No, no, I'm not scared, that. but I want to say something that's going to be really stupid. Yeah. But I'm just going to out myself. Yeah. We were on our way here, and we looked over, and we saw the water, and I was like, I didn't know there was a beach here. Obviously, it's not a beach. It's Lake Michigan. It one is. Of the oh, got but that happens a lot. There's beaches. Yeah, That's yeah. not it. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. feel bad. That happens uh, a lot. Yeah. Okay. Like yep, people don't realize that that waterway is like a big like part of the city. Huge. Yeah. It's yeah. a great lake. I thought yeah, I you said were, it's yeah. one of the. It's, mm -hmm. it's one of the greats. I did yeah. think you were going to say that, that yeah. it oh. was an ocean, and that would have been stupid. But yes. you made the common mistake. We Thank do have beaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank There's you beaches. for making me feel better. People play a little lacrosse on the beaches. It's a nice time. <laughs> Should we talk about the lacrosse? Probably well, not. Watch dual Okay, scenes. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just going to say it's not, you know, it's, our guy doesn't look great with it, right? Yeah, I'm not. Do you guys, I mean, listen, time out. Have you guys ever played lacrosse? No. That was the no. first time I think I've ever handled a lacrosse stick. Okay, so it's uh, a geographical thing, and I know yeah. we're—I know we have lacrosse now, and it's getting to the Midwest, but it's just not anything we ever did. We had Pro a club producer Harry is a D one lacrosse player from St. Charles, Illinois. I don't know if D one's the way to play. I was on the team, but that would—that <laughs> would mean you're D one. I practice. I yeah. say instead of played, you know. Well, you know more than these. Guys. Yes, correct. So when I went to the shore, I was telling you guys there was two lacrosse sticks we were playing, and it was like so foreign to me. Yeah, yeah. On I a had, beach? On a beach. Yeah. Me and Eddie. Picture me and Eddie on a beach <laughs> in the Jersey Shore playing lacrosse together. <laughs> That's the most oddest. <laughs> like if you could pick two people at this comedy, they'd be like, no. Is that like playing work. catch with like a base? Is that just like having a catch? People do that. Yeah. yeah. You know, like let's go play some catch. Yeah, with mm -hmm. the lacrosse stick though. Which is crazy. They got yeah. fucking. Yeah. I thought catch. that was just from American Pie. All we did was try to get to five consecutive. How far apart Catches. were you on this it, beach? It it took us <laughs> over an oh hour. Oh my god, <laughs> sweating like timeouts. Yeah, we did take timeouts. Sit down. We put on a show for <laughs> yeah. everyone. Water was, breaks. Yeah, Eventually it's it's we hard. Got there. It's hard. When I, my brother is ten years younger than me, and he was a, a big lacrosse player, I would ju I just gave up. So I'm like, give me a baseball mitt, and I'll mm -hmm. throw the ball to you, yeah. and then you can lacrosse it. Lacrosse, back throw it. Lacrosse it. Lacrosse it. <laughs> lacrosse it. <laughs> I like it. Then you can lacrosse it. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro, it was so hard. It was so. We played football in the Midwest. That's what I said. And spike right. ball. Do we play spike ball? No, I didn't play fucking <laughs> spike <laughs> ball. Like, We're talking about beach games here yeah, with this lacrosse stuff on the beaches. I've seen around. so many people playing spike ball on on like North Ave Beach, like, you know, walking down the lakeshore path and everything. And that seems like the most game I would be out on on earth. Like, All do you mean you're moving, not good at it? Or you just no, I, I think it'd be, I don't know. I think like lame. if us four played, we'd all be around the same, but. It's just, I'm like, that is way too much moving for a mm. beach. I want to sit there Sweat and I want to drink. Tug of war. <laughs> it's too physical. For too pretty. much moving. <laughs> um, so, yeah, watch stool scenes. Watch Rio's vlog, too, and you'll yes. see you'll see us play um, <laughs> lacrosse, I guess, <laughs> or attempt to play catch three the times The only time row. Eddie plays lacrosse is with yes. me. It makes zero sense. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, it's very strange. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so the draft today. The category is mall, as you probably saw in the description. Um, 
mall, a round table. Everybody knows I'm a big mall guy. Mm-hmm. I like malls. I don't really like Amazon because I think they're killing malls. Do you like malls? Have you watched the Dead Mall series on YouTube? No, I don't think I have. I will, I will send it your way. I haven't I watched even heard it of it. Recently. I haven't either. It's just talking about the downfall of malls because obviously people just online shop. I go to the mall all the time because I live on Long Island. So there's Roosevelt Field Mall. Shout out. I don't know if anybody from. No, there's going to be a lot of mall shout outs. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. But Roosevelt Field Mall is my mall (laughs) and I go all the time. Like like I'm going at least once every two weeks. Is All that, right, I like that. Is that an indoor mall, outdoor mall? Because I feel like mall. outdoor malls have become more of a thing recently, too. I feel like if you live in an area where the weather is nice. Ah, then they got Oak them here. Brook, just say it right away. Oak Brook, great outdoor yeah. mall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Geneva Commons. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, malls are uh, they're becoming a lost art, Dave, yeah. right? Sad. I'd say so, yeah. I also kind of feel like a mall fraud now that you said there's a series and I haven't seen it. Yeah. So I guess I got to get on watching. I it. heard that you spent a lot of time as a kid at the malls, like not even getting dropped off. Like you would just go to the mall and hang. Like you had spent summers every day oh, just yeah. going to the mall. Yeah. Did you ever I, work at a mall? No. Hmm. I love them. Did you ever see Mall Rats? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You should watch Mall Rats. Now you're a fraud. You know what movie I refuse to watch? It's one movie I just refuse to watch. Paul. Paul Blart. Paul Blart. Paul Blart, Paul Blart Cop. I just refuse to watch it. Why? Because it's just one of those malls? movies people talk about, and now I just refuse to watch it. <laughs> it's just this I mean, respects it's malls, like, I guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, I love Stranger uh, Stranger Things season two. It was in a mall, it was like old school. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, a lot of good mall talk. Uh, so the five categories are a clothes store, like a mall store. I think we all know what that means. A uh, food court place, an activity, and a miscellaneous. Is there any, like, worry that things are going to bleed or there's going to be, like, mixing categories? Or I no? mean, probably, but I don't want it to slow us down. I yeah. think this is something we should just, like, react in real time as it comes up and just take it case by case. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but those are the five categories. Um, Got to say, congratulations to me for winning the uh, – winning. What, what was it last week? Oh, a costume draft. I won the costume draft. That's because everybody loved Gus Polinski. Well, it's a good costume. Mine was better. I just didn't have any better pictures. <laughs> I, I want – we got to figure out the polling. We have to figure we it do, out. We do, I know. We really do. We really got to figure it and out. And I didn't understand why Ken Jack made it worse couples on the graphic. I think that was a mistake. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think it was a mistake. Um, but all right, we'll do order. <laughs> um, Harry. Harry has a number one through five behind his back. Rhea, what number is it? Two. No. Four. No. Three. No. One. No. Five. Yes. Collusion. <laughs> um, I'm going to take two. Two. All right, Rhea, one through four. Three. Yes. Which number you want? You want first, third, fourth, or fifth? Oh, my God. <laughs> this happened last time. Tough. And I chose one, and then everyone was like, ah. <laughs> mm. Go with your heart, Rio. I'm going to choose one again. All right. All right. I, 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 I'm just going to choose one. All right. Bad pick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I feel confident in my picks enough that the order does not matter to me. All right. I mean, it's also your, you might have different stores, too. Yeah. Like, that is true. Mm. You might have a uh, geographical advantage or disadvantage. Uh, one through three, Carl. Two. Yep. Three. This is outrageous. Uh, one or two, Chief. One. Yep. I'll take four. White Sox, Dave, your last. That's it's a tough last, pal. That is a tough last. <laughs> um, all right. Before we go, I want to talk about dude wipes for a second here, Dave. You've been using the dude wipes. Yeah, I feel. Uh, you no longer use your hand to wipe your shit. No longer use my hand. No longer. Uh, How's your butthole? Uh, it's, it's it's smooth as a baby's bottom. Good. Everyone likes dude wipes here. Um, get rid of the toilet paper. Actually, like malls, you know, if you went to the mall, they have bad toilet paper. A thousand percent. That's just a Every fact. time. I've never used the bathroom at the mall. Yeah, really? I, I, yeah. I need my home turf fed. <laughs> well, I could, I could, I could, we could, me and Chief and I can say that. You spend so yeah. much time there, of course yes. you would go to the bathroom exactly. at some point. Since we were there for hours and you just got to go. 
But regardless, we could say that the mall has shitty toilet paper. So that's why you need dude wipes. They have little individual wipes so you could get them on the go. Mm -hmm. If you're golfing at the mall and you're in a tough situation, just keep it in your wallet, keep it in your purse, whatever you got to do. Go there, use a dude wipe. You can get the dude wipes at dudewipes.com. Use code BC15 for 15% off your entire order. They got dude showers, they got dude powder, they got a bunch of things. Go check it out, dudeproducts.com as well. Or they're on Amazon, they're at Walmart, Target, they're everywhere. So there actually might be at your mall if your mall is, is bookended by a Target or something. Um, go get some dude wipes. BC15, 15% off your order. All right, number one overall pick. Rhea, you're up. Okay, I'm going to go food court. Auntie Anne's. All right. I I love Auntie Anne's. I love Auntie Anne's. I like how you pronounce the Auntie so well. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> no, no, you're doing it right. Oh, I, I'm just Annie. Annie, 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 Annie. I, I mean to say Auntie Anne's, Auntie but Anne's? Annie Anne's. I thought you would have been an aunt person being from the coast. No, I actually, I, I'm aunt fully. And when I met people from Boston at Barstool when I first started and they started saying aunt, I was very thrown off. I've heard it. My mom's from the East Coast, and she says aunt, mm -hmm. and it drives me insane. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's aunt. I yes. say aunt. My parents say aunt. Do you guys remember Dave did not know what an aunt was? No. Because he only heard aunt, and when he heard aunt, he was like, what's an aunt? How can that be? This was on a rundown like a couple years He's, ago. That's crazy. Yeah. Because it's just like if you exist in the world. You yes, know you know what an aunt is. Yes. yes. It's crazy. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, th I, I love Auntie Ants. However, I think that's the deepest category. Would you agree or no? One thousand Well, maybe, maybe store it or whatever. I don't know. I thought that one was like everyone would be trying to get Auntie Anne's. No, I, I like it. I think it's a good pick. I think Auntie Anne's is like a mall staple. I think like I was stunned. There's actually one by the office. That's like one of the <laughs> first <laughs> ones <laughs> I've seen. I don't know. No, but sorry. <laughs> You're the only one that can relate to that. There's one by the office. I thought it was just like a mall thing. In New York City, like a brick and mortar yes. on the street. You can just walk in and get pretzels. That's yeah. the wow. only one I've seen that hasn't been in an airport or a mall. Mm -hmm. Auntie Anne's, yeah. what do you guys think? Well, it's a, it's a high food traffic item, which is why you see it in airports and malls, and they, they rely heavily on the aroma in the swip. And like that's part of the mall experience is the smells. Yes, 1,000%. So I, it's just like because malls hit your senses differently, the lighting, all that shit. I like an Annie Anne's. Good thing now, about is it in the court? I think so. It, it, it oh, depends. Yeah. It, a lot of like the one in Orland Park. It's it's in the lobby when you walk in. It's the first thing they show you when you walk in. So I just when we say food court, we just mean food places, though, right? That cr that crossed my mind, and I think yes, it I did cross I mean, my mind yes, as well. I, yes. I will admit that, but <laughs> I think because <laughs> court, I, I have a tray. Yes, I want a tray. Yes, I. But I do think they have them in the court, and also they stand alone yes, in the mall as well. I think so as well. Like I, I would, I would be willing to step to any type of food places that's in a mall. Is that fair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many good food places. There's a ton. But no, here this is this is great. Th there's so many super shitty places that are good just because they're in the mall. If that makes sense. Like a lot of these places that I have, oh, I wouldn't yeah, eat Dave. them. No shit. So that I don't know. Yeah. Like Auntie Anne's, I think it's fine. No, Auntie, Auntie, Auntie <laughs> Anne's. <laughs> did you just Auntie, Auntie Anne's? I just did it. I don't, that was weird. <laughs> Auntie you, said you hate when people it drives say me crazy. and then you just threw that in there. I'm I don't know how that happened. <laughs> it did. I'm embarrassed on, about it. Auntie Anne's. And I will take a lap as soon as the show is over. I, I think Woodfield Mall, which is probably our biggest suburban That's mall. That's by far the big. Yeah, I'd say so. They have two Auntie Anne's. <laughs> what is Annie going ants. on? Annie Ants. <laughs> Annie Ants. It's called Annie Ants. Annie Ants. Annie Ants. Everyone's getting thrown off here. It's my Annie. Um, my aunt. Mm. No, Annie Ants is a first rounder. It is. Right? Everybody, I feel so confident I, in that I, one. I, I, I think it's a good pick. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a good pick. It's synonymous with malls. Mm -hmm. All right, it's to me. <laughs> um, God, I don't know what to do. And it's early to not know what you want to do. It's the second pick. I, I know. I mean, no, I usually know. when you say I'm going to go second, that means you have. Yeah, that means a I have a plan. Top two. I yeah. didn't see her going to Annie Ann's right out of the gate. So you, you did not. You Why are Annie Ann's, Ann's picks are shocking? Well, it's because I think that's a deep. Uh, I think there's a lot of good picks in the food court. I'm mm -hmm. shocked. You I know? was like, I have to. That's why I picked one, because I was like, I just have to get this one out of here. Yeah. Interesting. No, I got you. Interesting. Um, 
Fuck it, I'm taking Spencer's. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! I had, uh, yeah. I mean, there was no I'm way that I was getting back to you 10 picks later. Yeah. 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 There was no <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah. Shit. <laughs> um, Spencer speaks for itself. Yeah. It is the quintessential mall store. I mm. think that should have gone 1-1. One, one. You one think thousand, so? Yes. Shit. Absolutely. Ah, uh, fuck me. It's one of those stores, too, where you'll always walk into it. Yeah. It doesn't matter <laughs> yeah. if yes. you have, like, pretty much most of the time you have no intention of buying anything. But you just you're walking into Spencer's just 10 to times fuck around time. with everything. Yes, correct. Yeah. You get there, you go past there, and you see all cool shirts. You giggle at the sex toys, like yep. whatever. It's it's Spencer's. I also bought our disco ball from there for the. Oh, uh, is that right? Yeah, yeah you probably club. enjoyed going to the hip and getting picking that out. <laughs> is that yeah. where you went? Did you go to the hip? I did. I did. I got it from the hip, Spencer's. Um, Spencer's was great. Spencer's, I think I, I I'm happy with Spencer's. That's one of those too. stores that I I it, I was going to ask if it was still in business. Because it it's such a mall store, and like we're I was saying, wondering like, the that same right, thing. Yeah. Sad. They might have just gone straight online. I, I looked it up. They are they still do have some physical. Books. There's always a place for it's Spencer's, gonna though. like all these places are going to be like Blockbuster. <laughs> That's right. Don't like say thing that. Of the past. Don't say that. Yeah, I mean that's just. I mean it's just. It's how it goes. Um, Spencer's is probably popular right now. Halloween. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's probably they're doing well this week. they make their whole their whole nut this this week. Yeah, I, I think, how many Spencers do you think there even are? Well, well, what, okay, here's a question. What if they're no longer in existence, like a, a, a specific store? I think that's fine. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay, I, I think so, too. <laughs> As if I'm yeah. the leader of the draft. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, you I get mean, a vote. Everyone on the panel gets yeah. a vote. Mm -hmm. I think that's fine. Do you guys think that's fine? I think that's I, fine. I think that's fine, yeah. There's 650 Spencers. Okay, wow. That's, that's kicking pretty good. Yeah, I'm okay. surprised by that. Yeah. Good um, for Spencer's. You yeah, should get the CEO or CMO on. Wow, there. fun fact. You want you ready for a fun yep. fact? The company also owns and operates a pop up seasonal retailer, Spirit Halloween. <gasps> that, there's wow. your answer. Oh, I guess I like Spirit a little more now if they're affiliated with Spencer's. What a little find by Ed. That's <laughs> that's crazy. What is it? They uh, Spirits open one month a year, and then the uh, other eleven months they do all their scouting for new locations for the next Halloween or something. Probably, like that. Yeah, yeah, probably. So basically, all the Spencer's employees and Spirit Halloween just live for this month. Yeah, like, exactly. It's a big <laughs> month. It's a this huge is, month. It's their Super Bowl this Saturday. <laughs> it is. Or <laughs> yeah, well, technically Saturday. Um. All right, Spencer's. Based on their reaction, I think it's a good pick. I, I really I think, good pick. I think it should have gone one one, but Anions, anti ons, <laughs> Anions. I can't. It's a tongue twister. I, I'm. I need the weekend. All right, uh, Carl, you're up, dude. There's so many good ones on the board, and I think every everything that I've like kind of come across is is to me is a first round pick. But there's this one that I don't. I, it's just a, such a mall store. It doesn't exist anywhere else. It's Hot Topic. Yeah. Oh. I gotta yeah. go Hot Topic. One hundred percent. Um, I I think that's the clothing store. I'm <laughs> right. That's my clothing yeah. store. Unfortunately. Yeah, I think so. Right? Or is it? Ah. But, or or does it? Or can I say it's a mall store? I take. I would take. I would say mall. Because I, I think it's more of a mall store, but because they know they do posters and they do like more, you know, there's some lifestyle stuff in there. Yeah, I think I, I think it's a mall store. I would go mall I store. I do actually. Yes. That's huge, rolling. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Why you want a hot topic too? I, I got a list. I <laughs> did have hot topic on it, but I got a list. I don't <laughs> think I've did ever not. been in a hot. Topic. No, I did. Really? Okay. But now I'm gonna so. have to start playing to the crowd. <laughs> uh, very disappointing. That's gonna upset Chief. It what? does upset Can me. you can you believe this? What? After a cheating scandal and now a pandering just, scandal. At least she admits at least yeah. she I'm getting it. I'm getting ahead of it. No. I think that's a absolutely perfect pick. It's a mall. There is the one, the champagne mall is great, by the way. There's a great mall at the University of Illinois. Hot topic there. The one at Chicago Ridge, the one I grew up on. And where those would come into play is when you wanted to get blue jeans. It started, you'd be like, I want to get blue jeans, but I don't want to get them from Abercrombie or American Eagle or Aeropostal. Or like, I want to get and like- And you go to Hot Topic for I it? would get like shoes or oh, like, okay. yeah. Now like, we're just I always thought it was like the- uh, Oh, did, did, oh that's what, true. Did yeah. I just fuck up? Yeah. That's okay. Multiple that's right. times, but- Fuck. That's I'll do that. That's out of character. It, I know. I'll do that. I think I did that a couple drafts ago. I really fucked up in the animal one. I'm sorry. I think it's. Um, yeah, I did say all those ones. Sorry. 
I think it's one of those things where it's culturally relevant too. Like if someone was wearing black, you're like, "What's up, hot topic?" You know, it was like such yeah, a yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was such like an easy mid two thousand joke. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like someone wearing like goth shit. That's I always so that's a goth story. The I nickname always heavy, was. Yeah. yeah, it would be like heavy Emo. metal. Be like, uh, it would be more like you would call someone hot topic. We would call them Slipknot. Like take it easy. Really? Slipknot. Okay, yeah. Well, like, it was like I saw a Slipknot in concert. Like well, a it was month like ago. my <laughs> sister went to a slip. <laughs> my sister went to a Slipknot <laughs> no, concert last I went week to in West Fest. Palm Beach. Oh, I really? went to Riot Fest. I your sister went to, saw a my, Slipknot. My sister flew to West Palm Beach to see Slipknot. Wait, solely for Slipknot? Who else was on the card? What do you mean? Like, was it just Slipknot? She just solo? loves. And if I showed you a picture of my sister, you'd be like, she loves Slipknot. Really? I, I feel like I have to bring a picture of her up. Her now. and Dave might need a bond over the Slipknot. <laughs> so. Oh, well, I that's not the music I listen to, but I went to Ride Fest, which is a festival. So there's multiple acts playing at once. And I saw Machine Gun Kelly. They were fucking. He was awful, I thought. And then I'm like, ah, let's go check out Slipknot. Just see what all the hubbub is about. And they were awesome. They were legitimately awesome in concert. I'm not kidding you. That's good, man. <laughs> and I've never gone out of my way to listen to Slipknot, but they were awesome. But you're right. That was a thing. Slipknot, like, yeah. Yeah, if you were like uh, a My Chemical Romance guy, like you're like, oh, you're just a hot topic awesome. guy. They are good. They got great. They yeah. got great music. I have gone out of my way to listen. Um, to them. Do you like the masks on them, Dave? Uh, it was funny because it was right <laughs> after Machine Gun Kelly was rip, <laughs> ripping on them. And he ended and there was like an hour left of the Slipknot show. And Wait, he was actually making fun of them? He was making fun of Corey Taylor, who's a noted psychopath. He would rip his face off if he wanted to. What? This is the one of my singer. sister's most recent Instagrams. This is her at a Slipknot show. She's wow. been to multiple this year, and this is what my sister looks like. Her hair's like done in a bun. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's a very attractive girl. Yeah, I thought she, she was is. like Natasha Budding, <laughs> not fucking. Not yeah, that. right. <laughs> Natasha Benningfield's great. Yeah. Yeah. Slipknot. <laughs> That's good. Uh, hot topic, great pick. Great Thank pick. you. Yep. Uh, Chief, you're up. I feel like there's two obvious mall stores here, but I, I would say I went to this one more, so I'm going to take it. I don't know that they exist anymore, and I don't think I ever bought anything, but I went in them a lot. A sharper image. So they had all like the weird gadgets, the massage chairs, um, just like all like random things that you would like, oh, I'm going to go look for a Christmas pr present in here. And then they'd be like, well, everything's way too expensive. So you just walk right out. But they had cool shit. Uh, so I'll take a uh, sharper image. No thoughts from anybody. <laughs> Nobody likes sharper image. Bad thing. <laughs> I think I don't want to say the name. I'm not going to. I don't want to say a name. Because, of a different place? Yeah, but I'm not going to pick You're it, winning. so I guess... Well, well you, someone, someone else, else might. might. Are you right, so yeah. I won't make a yeah, say yeah. it. Yeah. Sh Just, are you going to say you think there's a place better at the same like genre? Yeah. Okay. There is? But it's just because maybe I'm from a different area, so it just might be called something different. I think I know what it is. I, Sharper Image would have like the place where it would be like, this chair will massage you, yeah. and then it'll also tell your temperature and it'll like that was the store like making when you, coffee like when you yeah so when you're a kid and you're in the mall fucking around like that's a place you go and sit for like five ten minutes yeah yeah it's a good place yeah you guys hate the pick well <laughs> i don't think it's a first rounder no I guess not for all. malls see i think that's the thinnest category and there's one other one that's really? popping in my head that i didn't want to take because i felt it would be disingenuous and i don't think it's so, bad i think it has a seat at the table but I, okay. well, what do you think dave it's yeah, it's like you, silence. You, you just put it perfectly. It's got a seat at the table, just not right now. Right, we'll it's see. a good pick for when you go to the mall as a kid with your parents and you have to distract yourself. Yes. And your dad's like, I'm going in here. I want to see if they got the fucking, you know, like whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for like, if you were like 13 years old and stuff, I don't know, I'd be going in sharp. I'd break, I'd be, they'd just ask us to leave instantly. They'd be like, kids, well, yeah, get the get fuck the fuck out. which is part yeah. of the. The appeal. Yeah, I'm also yeah, I'm living in this draft mostly as like I'm a child. Me too. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even though you still go to the mall regularly. Well, it just hangs out in do malls. Do you? No, not that. No, Have you ever tried to... Uh, like, <laughs> I want to kill that narrative now. That sounds creepy. I don't just sit on the bench and just like... <laughs> and stare? Yeah. Like, give me this. Can you give me the uh, voice? Well, like, voice. you said you can't do it on command. Oh, like, when uh, yeah, you get Your horny voice. Yeah, I can't do that on um, command. To, uh, <laughs> just has to be a guttural reaction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Um, sharper image, uh, big run on mall stores. You happy about it, Chief? 
Well, not now, <laughs> but I, I like sure. I just like I would never have picked <laughs> Hot Topic because I just like I don't have any memories of that. Like, yeah, I don't know yeah, if I've yeah. ever been to one. So I'm trying to think of mall stores that I've actually been to and that is a mall store. All right. Yeah. Sharper image off the board. Everybody cross it off your list. <laughs> yeah, you're such a fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. Mm -hmm. uh, White Sox, Dave, you're up. Uh, I'm going with clothes store. I think this for all of us, we're a little older than you, Rhea, but Abercrombie. It was like the yeah. absolute. Like, if you wore Abercrombie I mean, jeans, you spent, your parents spent 100 bucks on them or whatever. That was like, a, it was a status symbol. Huge status symbol. Uh, Which is relevant for you? Oh my, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It still is. I don't I don't know if they even they, have brick and mortar stores like that sit on the They owned. don't, but a lot of people shop from Abercrombie online still. They, they, yeah. I feel like yeah. they've made a big comeback. They did. They, yeah. did they, they make got, a big yeah. comeback. They're cool again. Really? They're, yeah, they're cool again. Mm -hmm. Wow. But yeah, like I, I've never seen one sitting on like that's why I almost want to pick it as a mall store. They've got such big uh they went really big in a cargo shorts, I remember. They did. There was I, a huge movement in the late nineties. I that have never gotten ripped on for this, but that that picture that everybody uses of me that it's like the first hit on Google it, when I'm all shit faced at Mifflin at Wisconsin. Eating the pizza? Eating it, I'm eating a, a Italian sausage or something and my eyes are like cross face or cross eyed because I'm so drunk. Um I'm wearing cargo shorts that are Abercrombie in oh. that pic. Oh. And no one's ever, ever Commenting brought that. up that you can't really tell. Do they still use the same logo? What was it? A moose? Was that a moose? I thought it was a moose. No. They might have had that might have been a different company. No, I thought it was. Could a moose. be. Could be. Could be. Oh, oh, dude, there's a picture if you Google you of you and the 108 guys and Frank Kaminsky, and you look like Russian stacking dolls next to this guy. Because <laughs> I mean, he's seven like, feet tall. Yeah, but in the in the section 108 guys are also objectively gigantic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just Googling. Yeah, they're all like 6'4 as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, this, is, this is my favorite picture. Of Abercrombie's a, it, it's a, it's a staple. What picture is that? <laughs> what picture is that? Dave, what picture you, look is like, that? you look like a reception on my cell phone. Oh, that's, oh that, everybody, that was a setup, that picture. <laughs> that was a setup. Um, do you like the pic, Chief? Oh my yeah. God. It's, it's I, 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 I didn't like how they used to just like spray you with stuff as you were walking by. Like I feel like they always had like the cologne guys outside. I was felt a little uncomfortable with that. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's a fine it's a fine pick. It was another store that I never really shopped at. It's a good pick for a clothes store. The though. music. Yeah. Yeah, and, that that, was and crazy, all the guys man. in there are wearing like puka shells and have yeah. fake ass orange <laughs> and they're tans. and they're spraying you with cologne. Yeah, it's so like I don't want to I don't want to smell like you. Yeah, and uh, like I hate those guys, but deep down in my head, I was like, I want to be that. Wish oh, I they used yeah. to at Oakbrook. They used to have shirtless guys standing right. outside. Yeah, with, with yeah, with like yeah. six packs and shit. If you were, if you were asked shit. to be an Abercrombie model oh, yeah, at yeah, the yeah, store, yeah. was like the highest honor. It I was yep. never old enough yet, but my neighbor next door, she was like very pretty girl, and they were like. Hey, do you want to start working here to be an Abercrombie model, in-store model? Wow. Yeah. Damn. Where are those kids now? What do you mean? There needs to be like a Netflix doc on, like, the <laughs> on where the Abercrombie yeah. kids are. Like you can't. It's hard to go up from there, right? Yeah. You kind of peak a little bit. Right? Yeah, they're yeah. they're selling insurance. They're doing <laughs> like, just like they're, yeah. I was like, I was at the coolest place you could be at at that stage of life, and I was like, the shit. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Like know. basically child stardom within any of the stardom. Yeah. Basically. Uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, Dave, you're up again. Oh, I think I fucked something up too. <laughs> what, <laughs> what you, you took sharper up, image? <laughs> yeah, because I had this other thing I wanted to pick and uh, I was going to. I fucked up. Great job. You're up, Dave. Cooking. Um, I'm going to. So what is that? That's closed store, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to go with Mall Store. I'm going to go with FYE. Awesome. Go and pick all your CDs out, all your music. You you know, you hear that new Blink-182 album's coming out. Take off your pants and jacket. You're sitting in line as soon as that fucking store opens its doors. You're in there buying that. F-Y-E? F-Y-E. You never heard of F-Y-E? Nope. F-Y-E was awesome. Electronics. Was like Charlestown yeah, yeah. Mall just like a I, nothing I spent store? A, nothing a lot mall? of time at the Charlestown Mall in my life, and it absolutely had. An F-Y-E? An FYE. See now, Rhea, do you know what an FYE is? I have no idea. Okay, so it was it's called FYE so for your entertainment, and it was a place where like you could put on headphones and like listen to like CDs and shit yeah. like that. Like it was like a CDs and like movies kind of stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. didn't have that. It's because Netflix killed it. 
like those kind of stores in like Apple Music and Spotify and all that shit. Would you be surprised to learn there's still 188 locations? <laughs> I I am surprised, and I would not be surprised if that was halved in the next year and the year after that. They're just whoosh. Yeah, it's crazy. They're the dodo bird. But I don't know though. Aren't records like coming back? Like, well, they've been I mean, back for a the while, vinyls right? are coming back. But like as collectors' items, nah, kinda. What about CDs? You think well, that's what it, that's what it was. Wouldn't, wouldn't hate a CD comeback. No, I, laser I disc. I think they get. Re- I, I think they get read pretty clean. I think music sounds very crisp off a, off a CD. I love the pick, Dave. Fye was on my. Hey, my the list. the noted mall guy loves my pick. <laughs> All these little fucks that are twenty two voting on are going to be like the Dave's draft sucked. Don't no worry, knows about what it, Fye Dave. is, but fuck you. Do you like Fye? Yeah, I yeah. like it. I mean, I think there's. You know, it, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Good pick, David. Uh, Chief, you're up. Hmm. <laughs> well, like, I'm so in my head because now, like, I was, it doesn't matter. My closed story isn't really a closed story. The one that I was going to pick, it should have been in the last spot where I took Sharper Image, and now I'm kind of on tilt. I think I know what you mean by that. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> well, I, I'll have to do an honorable mention if nobody takes it. Okay. Because the, the opportunity has passed. I'll go with, um, I guess, I mean, fuck this whole draft now. I'll go with uh, I'll go with Mrs. Fields Cookies. It's food court. You don't like that one either, Ed. <laughs> no, no, I think no. that is right there with <laughs> Auntie Anne's. No. I'm so confused how you guys don't think Auntie Anne's is like no, a, no, no. a number one pick. It's a first rounder. I, you know what? I don't know what I expected to be number one overall. <laughs> Like I what? would have said, hot topic, a hundred percent should have gone for or Spencer's, one of the two. If I had I do my regret choice, not taking Spencer's, but I also I'm very confident with the anti hands. It's no, it's a staple. It's a mall staple. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's way better than Mrs. Fields. <laughs> what is wrong with you? No, who does anti hands or Mrs. Fields? I, I don't think really they're like basically the same much. thing. So <laughs> I would personally go Mrs. Fields, but, but they're not regular Auntie pretzels. Anne's. I know. Special pretzels. I'm I taking know. Annie Ann's, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna further float out that the Mrs. Field pot cookie stands are like uh, they got to be like a front. Like who's going in there and buying these giant cookies? <laughs> I mean, it's all impulse buying. No one's going yeah, in there to buy. Buy. But I mean, like they sell them by the sheet. I don't know. I don't think they do a lot of business. There, are, there are a lot of places. I don't know anybody who's gone in there and bought a full sheet. A full sheet? No, you buy like the individual cookie. They're like that big. Yeah, you exactly. get a couple. Yeah, I know. I think I don't think it's bad, Chief. It's bad in that spot. I think though, unless if you got some like aces. In the I'm not a mall guy. I'm just later. not a mall. I don't. I got nothing. I'm not a mall guy. No. But I see. I, I refuse to believe that. Why? That that's not possible because I have never. I've never even seen a hot topic. Like I don't think I've ever like well, I might have I, heard of it. What kind of childhood? Did I you went have? to Charlestown Mall. <laughs> they had a hot Once. topic. I don't believe it. You don't it. know hot There's, topic. I don't. I don't That's know hot weird. topic. You it's don't. Almost, you've never heard it, of it. People that I went feel like to hot maybe topic have heard weird, of it, but, but it's like you guys weird. are saying it's Slipknot yeah. clothes. Like I never yeah, went in that, there. That was the that was like part of the mall experience is going into a hot topic and they'd have cool band shirts. Like you could get a Led Zeppelin shirt or like a Beatles shirt. Also, they're pretending that you would buy something, but you're not going to. Right. You're just you go in there and you make fun of the people that exactly, are buying those things exactly but you kind of wish that you could buy something mm-hmm. i did buy band shirts from there yeah like i still yeah. have a sublime shirt i bought from and hot posters topic. and shit yeah. like that they'd have you know, yeah never, i think i bought ne- a lava lamp from hot topic yeah, never went in mm-hmm. so wild yeah just wild to me i mean well i'm gonna take this for later i think but <laughs> for activity but uh, like there was like one specific reason to go to the mall and then you did like the other things later when you're um, fucking around, Miss, it's not a horrible pick though. It's not. I think it's a fine. It's pick. a mall. It's a yeah. mall store. I just, all right, whatever. <laughs> Carl, you're up. Um. So uh, miscellaneous, can that be a store or? Oh, that's a good question. Inappropriate. Does it, is it a store that doesn't fit into either of the other realms? So I have a store that's like it's a. Uh, it could be too much of a mall store now. That's why we have the two-person veto system. You can say it. All right. 
I mean, I have to. I'm taking lids. All right. No. So that's yes. what I was gonna take. Yes. That's what I was gonna take for I, mall store. I was gonna I, take that's that's a mall lids. store. That's yeah. A, I think it's a closed store. I so I, think I, it's a mall I was gonna. Store. I, don't I don't think, think it is a, a closed store. I, it's not so, a closed no. store the way I'm interpreting it. But I'm saying like, I think it's is a mall this store. where miscellaneous comes into play, or no, or what do you, how do you interpret miscellaneous? I interpreted miscellaneous as not having like, to do with a store. Right. That's all. how I interpreted it. So yeah. I, I think if is Hot Topic a closed store? It's a, it's a closed store. But it's such a mall store. And listen, that you would I said, only find gonna, in a mall. Yeah, we're going to run into like issues here. And I know that. I, I <laughs> So like I in my head, I was like, I, sh- I was like right, thinking lids I'm on gonna the gonna way point. here. And I was going to take lids. And then some sharper image came in my brain. And then I was like, oh, fuck. I fucked up. That's mm-hmm. what I meant by pandering because I was going to take lids. Mm. I love lids. I love lids. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it'd be like, well, yeah. you're not. Like, I only went in with like my brother. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> lids is an elite mall store. Yes. It is. It's, but I, but, but it's hot topic. It's a, but it's, no, I would, I would, tough because I could see arguments both ways. I think hey, hey, take it sounds it like yeah, it fine. sounds like hot topic is a closed store for you, for, based on what you're saying, and lids would be the but mall store. There, Man, I got some great mall stores on the list here too, guys. I'm, I mean, I'm not. We're just scratching the surface, but I can. Uh, I think that it, it it goes hand in hand with hot topic. So you say mall. I say definitely. You mall say store. what? I say hot topic is a closed store, but I've. No, can't but you really only say. find them in malls. What do you say? Lids, mall, or clothes? Mall. Yeah, I mean, it's, hey guys, talk. Yeah, talk. So so it's a mall, mall score, so and can't, uh, can't. you know, and and I want to say ahead of time, congratulations to whoever gets a chance to draft lids because it's a great mall store. So if somebody wants to take that, I'm. It is. Mm-hmm. That would have been my pick if I couldn't get Abercrombie. <sighs> so Abercrombie. you're not taking lids. No, you're. Uh, yeah, he you're already can. He's got time. Hot Topic. So oh. there's overlap yeah. in, I, mm. but I don't want to take. He said it out loud, and now it feels you don't want it feels dirty to take it. No, but I think anybody who's following along understands that. Yeah, that's fair game. Because I didn't. I guess my I was thinking from a miscellaneous standpoint. Like, is miscellaneous kind of like a catch-all? Is miscellaneous like a? It's a catch-all. No, I was just thinking completely separate from stores, like a, a miscellaneous good part of the mall. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I man, the more we talk, the more I just don't like them all. Every now I'm like thinking <laughs> everything like I'd have to go there like for Christmas shopping, like get something for your sister. It like, sounds like you didn't spend a lot of time there, like having fun with friends. I'll explain. No, but like we would go to Charlestown Mall, but I was it was never my idea. I guess we'll say that. But we would go. Oh no, that was like we would. That was. I'm surprised did, you like, went all to Charlestown the time. Mall. I mean, I got family out there, and it's only 15 minutes away from where I grew up. 20 minutes away, maybe. Yeah. It's just Fox Valley Mall was way closer to me. And, I mean, I I, I had my pick of three malls. I had Charlestown, which I went to the least frequently. Uh, Fox Valley, which I went to almost all the time. And then uh, Oak Brook, which was also like 15, 20 minutes mm-hmm. away. So I was close to all three of those. So what's your uh, what's your pivot here, Carl? Uh, well, it's tough because I don't know what to do. Um Fuck it. I'm going to go heavy. I'm going to stay. Ugh, fuck. I'm going to stay heavy. Mm. Conflicted. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to stay heavy fucking mall here on my clothes store. And this is a store that's only in malls, but it's a clothes store. And I'm going to fucking um, shoot myself in the foot here. Oh, set the shot clock, Dave. <sighs> Give him the shot clock. Five, four, three. I meant to. I'm, I'm two. On the edge of my seat. One. I'm going to take American Eagle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's. A- fair pick yeah yeah i think it's good god i have loaded clothes store but that's the it's loaded in general that category Here, oh, there's yeah, another that's... there's two other clothes stores that are heavy mall that i think are a little too flimsy for me because i did a lot of american eagle abercrombie's like you know you had to go out to oak brook for that so like you could never take your own money into abercrombie as a kid like you could mm-hmm. never save up enough allowance or whatever fucking shit from a birthday party like american eagle is in the mix though where you could go get so you could get a hat or you could get like a polo or something uh, there's a couple other big clothes ones that I like think are really funny, but I just don't. I don't. 
I don't love them. People forget that I own American Eagle. Stock? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, you do? You know what? Can I trade out American <laughs> Eagle right now? No, I... I why this is the longest your, pick ever. Yeah, yeah what, what's, I, I think you... I'm, I'll be interested to see how that resonates, like American Eagle versus Abercrombie and versus ones that might be taken in the future. Like, what do people resonate with the most? I think it'll be interesting. But I think it's I think it's a it's a worthy pick. I'd like to apologize to everybody for how long that took. <laughs> well, there's like three that I think are like the exact same. Okay. Um, all right, American Eagle off the board. It's to me. Fuck. Um, I'm just gonna jump out and go miscellaneous. I'm gonna take something we've taken in a previous draft, and I'm taking mall air conditioning. It's a great spot to get <laughs> to go in the summer. It's a great spot to catch some AC. Um, so not maybe not the sexiest pick, but miscellaneous gets a little thin, <laughs> and I didn't have a ton of things in that category. And uh, I think I might have drafted, or maybe Rico did, um, but my air conditioning <laughs> was pretty good. Good, good pick. I like it. All right. Um, anybody else? Mall air conditioning. Like it. Eh. Nah. Eh. Nah. Eh. eh. All right. Um, Rio, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do Build a Bear. Oh, All that's right. good. Yeah, that's really good. Mall store. Mall store. That's a mall store. Yeah, that's really good. Have you been? To, I don't. I don't think I've ever been in one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. but it's have? still great. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I've I, only been. I've only been to Build a Bear once. My parents let me do it. But I was so jealous of my friends that like their parents let them go all the time and get so many bears. It was a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it was. Build a bear is a big deal. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, that's like textbook high school boyfriend, like yeah. hey, build a bear. Yeah, like that. I mean, yeah. I just yeah. if you're not building a bear in high school for your girlfriend, <laughs> you're an idiot. I was so jealous when I was younger and my sister was in high school and had her had a boyfriend and then her boyfriend got her to build a bear and I was like, <laughs> I want that when I grow up. <laughs> You never I never got, got it. it. <laughs> that's that's never tragic. Got to build that's yeah. tragic. Yeah. Jealousy your sister's love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Slip not and build a bear. That's, yeah. that's a personal that's chick. That's what Nicole Chiffo <laughs> yeah. does. That's a personal chick for sure. Um, build a bear. <laughs> All right, Rhea, you're up again. Okay. I'm going to do miscellaneous. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do the smell of Abercrombie. It mm. does got a very distinct <laughs> smell. What do we think of that? I like it. Yeah. I, I'm I, I I like it. I think it's I think it's different too, right? I I think uh, do they you, all kind of have the same smell, like all those exact sort of clothing department stores. L- I don't want to you know the other ones. Right, I don't want right, to name right. them, but they got that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that right, perfume, yeah. and it's called Fierce. It's a cologne. Oh, actually, the, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, the yeah the the Abercrombie. Yes, Abercrombie. that was big. That was big. That was big time. <laughs> it was. I mean. Smell of Abercrombie, yeah. I mean, everyone <laughs> will see that and they'll smell it. This is kind <laughs> of a tangent, <laughs> but like six years ago, I was at a Cubs game, maybe even longer. This is a long time ago. And I saw Ronnie Wu and he sold me a bottle. I still have it, I'm pretty sure, of Abercrombie cologne for 40 bucks. And I bought it off of him. <laughs> That's very strange. But, but, you, yeah. but you did not. I swear to God, I still have it as a keepsake. I'll, I'll dig for it. It's in a box somewhere in my apartment. What? I thought you hated Ronnie Wu Wu. I do. I mean, he's a disgusting homeless guy. <laughs> but is that I, why you bought it? I bought it for him for the stories that I could tell later on down the road. And here's it's that, like you want him. Here's to that stink. opportunity. Yeah. Okay. No. Well, he he was selling. It was like it was still wrapped in everything. Okay. So it was just like a slow play. It's like I bought a figurine <laughs> that's worth like millions of dollars from uh, like Star Wars or something, mm-hmm. and I never took it out of the box. And you're like, this is Ronnie Wu Wu's cologne. It's Ronnie Wu Wu's cologne. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's didn't see that coming, Dave. That's not a tangent. That was just a wild story. <laughs> um, I was I've been sitting on that story for years and years, Ed, and this was the perfect opportunity I felt to unleash it. On <laughs> Smell the world. of Amber Crombie off the board. Amber Crombie. Amber. 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 There's Amber. no Amber. There's no Amber. Amber. There's no Amber. Okay. Amber. 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 Amber Crombie. Amber Crombie. Um. All right. It's back to me. I'm gonna go close store. I'm gonna go champs. Can't go wrong with champs. Everybody dresses up as a referee. What Chief's gonna <laughs> argue? It's not a. It's not a mall store. I don't think Chief knows what a mall is. 
Wait, is that clothing? Are you I didn't clothing say a word. Yeah, I saw you. You you perked up. Yeah, but Ed, you that was a little too sensitive on your part. Yeah. Let, well, let him, he, he'll, fuck you. He'll, he'll, he'll interject if he wants I could have been think. thinking about something completely different. It sounds like you guys are all being <laughs> sensitive I think I'm listening right to now. you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. You're being sensitive. You're being sensitive. I'm being sensitive. You're all being sensitive. I, don't think I mean, sensitive. sharper image might go down as like... <laughs> no, well, hey, look at... The new Barada salad. <laughs> no, Barada's good. I admit that that was a bad pick. I will not say that about Barada. <laughs> well, I apologize for being sensitive. Or the Chris Harrison pick the week he was getting canceled. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> what was that? The Chris, Chris Harrison. Harrison pick the week yeah. he was getting destroyed. I don't remember this either. How is a reality, reality TV, draft. TV draft with Oh. I, I, honestly, I'll give Chief a pass. It's, it's been a tough week for Chief. <laughs> My so brain will, is fucking fried. It, it has been, we made him uh, watch Squid Games. In one night, yeah, so he's like, we got a lot of shit going <laughs> yeah, on in this exactly. office. Lately. So he's out of it. So yeah. I apologize for. But like champs, I guess like that to me is not necessarily a clothing store. You don't. I would say that they got all sorts of like sporting goods and all sorts of stuff in there. Yeah, but if you, you can, can get buy jerseys. Yeah, you can buy jerseys there. Like that was a big jersey spot. That was a big shoe spot. Okay. Um, There's so many other clothing stores shirts. where you would be able to buy different things besides just clothes. Yeah. Yes. Do you not think Champs is a mall place? I think it's one hundred percent a clothes store. In a yeah, mall. I I would agree. I think that's why like, I don't. Surprised. I don't even Champs know how exists. you can combat it. I think Champs exists because there are other heavy players in the space, and Champs went full apparel. Champs is the one that in in the athletic retail yeah. space went heavy apparel. Yeah, they did on because, a small scale. Mm-hmm. I love Champs. Champs is like a that was a must hit in the mall every time you go. To just to see what they got. New shoes, whatever. <laughs> um, so I'm happy with it. Fuck. Carl, you're up again. I just had one. Oh, yeah. This one's uh this one's classic. For me at least in the Midwest. I think it's I think it's a lettuce entertain you place. I don't really know, but I'm taking the corner bakery. There's a corner bakery in Oak Brook, there's a corner bakery in Chicago Ridge. And it's just it's. I know it's on the edge. It's not food. Oh fuck no! It's food court. Yeah, it might, it might yeah be. that that doesn't count. Corner then. bakeries are everywhere. No, I know. I'm thinking of like the ones that. Okay, I gotta jump off that. Mm -hmm. Then I'll take the Cinnabon. I'll I think that's I'll, a better yeah. pick, anyways. I mean, I'll, I know I'll take it, but Cinnabon and Auntie Anne's. Those are like two like cage fighters mm -hmm. who have like yeah. fought thirty times. Auntie Anne's <laughs> you know? o always wins, but. Cinnabon's Do right that? underneath. Yes. The Cinnabon smell is better than Andy Ann's smell. Like if you're walking by, I think the Cinnabon smell is better. There's something about the smell of the Auntie Anne's. I really, clearly, I really you, like yeah, Auntie Yeah, you Anne's. love Auntie Anne's. Well, I think Auntie Anne's is, but Auntie Anne's is an easier cleanup. Cinnabon, it's like a... It's, it's very sloppy. Yeah. It's very Cinnabon? risky, especially you're walking around touching clothes, picking stuff up, looking at price tags. It's very tough to That's do. That's when Cinnabon. my dad, when we'd all, all have to go like Christmas shopping and we like split off. If you lost my dad in like pre cell phone yeah, days, yeah, yeah. you could probably <laughs> make your way over to the Cinnabon <laughs> and he would be there. Wow. Yeah. It's a good, it's a great pick. And the, the way they flavor those things is very addictive. Yeah. Did you, they have a patent, I read, to their type of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So every cinnamon is different from theirs, which is crazy. I believe it. It's like the McDonald's. Yes, Coke. correct. Yes. You know, uh, I said that on this podcast before, and people came after me on Twitter. So just be ready. They can come after me. <laughs> They're going to be. There I'm are pretty like, confident no, that the McDonald's Coke is different. They I know have a different syrup. Uh, that's what I said. They they use there real are real cane sugar. No, there's real. Make, there are McDonald's truthers out there that will come at you about how it's the way they transport the Coke. Yeah, so much for that. This. That's because they don't put it in the bags. They put it in like metal canisters. That that's why. But and I there'll be people from that. Atlanta because they're like real passionate about how they make their Coke. <laughs> Sorry. True. No, Cinnabon honestly is probably a first rounder. Um, you're going to get a, I mean, you got a pretty good three with Hot uh, Topic, American Eagle, and Cinnabon. I just have a close one that I know you're going to love more than anything else. All right. I'll be waiting. We'll get to it. Chief. Honorable. I mean, this is like I'm in a tough spot because I hate drafting things that I don't really like, but I'm like, I don't go to any of these clothes stores, but I guess I'll take Hollister. 
as like a close. See, I think Hollister is a good pick. Though. Yeah, it is a really good. Yeah. pick. I know, but it's not a good pick for me and my heart. But I know Shut it. Like it <laughs> just sound like such a it, pussy look, right no, now. No, I yeah. don't. You no, don't like don't. any do. of these things. So you don't, don't like the mall. So you just got to play along. I, that's what I'm doing. That's why I took Hollister. Oh. So I'm playing along. But it's not like I didn't really shop there. Like I remember like walking by, walk in every now and again. But it's not like. I will tell you, I probably spent more time in Sharper Image than I spent in Hollister. I guarantee you that. Dude, Hollister, I appreciate how much detail they put into their store. There was, like, steps that you walked up, and mm-hmm. there was, like, some of them had, like, a patio. Oh, see, now, <laughs> like, now I'm confusing that with Abercrombie. I feel like Abercrombie had that. No, patio. Abercrombie was, was well lit and looked like uh, Yeah, it was, yeah. like, blinding Hollister was walk dark, and they had music videos on the beach playing Brian on the Cabrera. big screens. Yeah, I, they, they'd have like yes. Tiki Hut motifs yeah. Yeah. coming out of the wall. All right. I got, I got Hollister and Abercrombie completely flipped in my brain. You don't even know the difference between Abercrombie I got them also, flipped Hollister, in my brain. Hollister, I think, was more... Actually, maybe Abercrombie Apparently. too, but I think Hollister was more of the shirtless men yeah, with the puka I, I got them completely flipped in my head. And yeah. there's one other. They're all the same thing. They're all the same. <laughs> yeah, they're all yeah. the same thing. A little, a little more beachy. Hollister was beachy. Hollister yes. was a little yes. beachy. Abercrombie is supposed to be like Preppy. woodsy. Yes. Yeah. And like, no, yeah, like prep, like Northeastern mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. something. Like Did Maine. Ever, like you've got the fucking canoe like vineyard vines. Yes. yes. <laughs> very flannel. Abercrombie which is, is very flannel. Which is interesting because you guys, like knowing your personalities, you guys are almost flipped. Like Dave's like the summer guy <laughs> and you're like yeah. the sweater winter guy. That's So that's what's true. kind of funny. Yeah, but you know what Hollister's big on that Chief loves? Nice open toe sandal. I do like those. Yeah. I do like those. Yeah, yeah, sure. Ask get me some, the question. Get, they yeah. have Birkenstocks there? What? About <laughs> Chief and jeans. And Which, what do you think of people who wear jeans and sandals? Very, jeans and flip-flops yeah. very is, is really not a good combination. It's, thank but you. It's it doesn't, thank you. It doesn't thank freak you. me out as much Lemmings. as it freaks other people Lemmings. out, but it, it is kind of weird. It's, it's, it's one thing if you're like in the office and whatever. But mm-hmm. Chief did it at a baseball game in Ew. the middle of summer no, when it was a hundred degrees. You gotta no, wear sneakers to a baseball game. Your feet will get dirty. It was Barcelona at the park. It would have been in June or July. I, oh yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I went with it. If you wore shorts with the sandals, then That's it would be fine. different. Yeah. See, I don't understand what the what the fuck. How the can you wear length? jeans there's, at a baseball game in July? There's something uncomfortable about the length of of the jean with the sandals. I find it very <laughs> comfortable, and that's why I wear it. No, no, no. I'm not, not uncomfortable not in terms guy. of like feeling uncomfortable the way it looks. Oh, see, I'm more about the other words. <laughs> I have the other way of comfortable. You have gotten rid of the Allbirds. In no, I wore them yesterday. I think. Did you? Yeah. They are beat though. I need a new pair of those. Yeah. The yeah. White Sox Dave versus Chief fashion sense <laughs> is one of the <laughs> great the rivalries in the office. I have. Then give her give Rhea fashion. the rebuttal to what White Sox Dave thinks is super fashionable, and get what, her opinion on that. What is it about the forces? Oh yeah, I mean like Dave. Dave thinks he can go to the Met Gala wearing forces. Like Air that's Force he Air Force One. Yeah, they, uh, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, it is. You're like, if if anyone ever questions I, your fashion, you're like, I have Air Force One I, and I, Jordans. I, I don't like, hate when people wear sneakers with like a nice outfit. Is if that's what you're referring. That's to. That's what like, I do. Like, yeah, I think that's fine. Like a, a decent pair of jeans, a polo, and do you Air think Force it's Ones the epitome Jordans? of fashion? It's it's at least not wearing the same shoes for every single guys occasion, wearing from good sneakers always play to going out on a Friday night. Yeah, like I never do. said I'm a, a fashion guy. Well, I am. No, you're not. I have at you're least not a fashion have, guy either. I, this you're is definitely crazy. not a fashion guy. I'm not, but. I have at least a threshold where I'll wear different shoes for different occasions, which makes you. Well, have I mean, at I do that too. I got the leather ones on right now. A sliver of. Fashion. You're thinking about it. Yeah, for exactly. sure. I, I, exactly. You I'm have your own style. I'll match my <laughs> Air Force <laughs> Ones to the to the color of the polo that I'm wearing. Oh, or the hat. get the fuck out of here. That's fashionable. That's You're talking ridiculous. a lot about polos too, which <laughs> I don't. Po- I really don't like <laughs> a polo. In, in the in the summer, they're polos fine. make me uncomfortable. Polos. Actually, no, okay. This fucking job. Picturing a polo on <laughs> Dave like, is making me I feel have, weird. This is like a Michael treasure Scott. trove of polos, like nice polos. From Ralph and everything, and <laughs> I can't wear them anymore because the job made me fat. I didn't wear them all summer. It's tough. First time I admitted that. Credit to me. <laughs> the job made you fat. <laughs> Whoa! It was a question. <laughs> yeah, it, <did. laughs> it wasn't. No, a, I don't think you're fat. I'm blaming job. this job. <laughs> that's, that, that was a kind of that, awkward silence. That topic. Well, <laughs> no, I'm just. I love the fashion debate. So it's it's just fun to sit in here with a girl who could give some mm. uh, fashion tips. So, some tips. Yeah. Uh, Steve, I don't know why you're down, man. I think Hollister's a great pick. I was- I, I'm just down because I, 
I got Hollister above Abercrombie and American Eagle for a mall Well, store. I'm down for a couple of reasons because in my head, <laughs> sharper it, in my image. head, sharper it, image. well, yeah, that oh. like I wish I, oh. I I wish I took lids there, but then I was thinking lids would be the clothing store, and I thought the clothing store was the deepest. Like, there's all these shit. And <laughs> so you're like, all throwing. It's it's not an easy categorical graph. Yeah, you're on tilt. It's okay. Yeah, I got on tilt a little bit, it's and right. I also did like I'm like holy fuck, like my memory is just completely shot because I thought Abercrombie was Hollister and Hollister was Abercrombie. So now it's like, I don't even know Can't what I'm drafting. That one, yeah. Yeah. They're very similar. Yes. I know. But, well, Carl looked at me like, you don't know the difference between those? I'm like, no. Like, the, that one, American Eagle. I mean. They're all kind of, in my head, they're like, they're that store. They're I think you could, uh, well, there's another one out there that you could throw in the mix. But mm-hmm. Abercrombie was the standalone, like, fancy foo-foo fuck you one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah. White Sox, Dave, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go food court. I'm going with Sabaros. Yeah. I love Sabaro. They used to have one in the uh, Ogilvy train station. Do they have standalone stores? Stores. Yeah. I've never seen one. Yeah, they do. In, in they New do, York, in they New York, do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's Michael Scott's favorite New York pizza place. Never watch The Office, mm-hmm. really. But even like the ones I've seen like that, the, it's still just like you walk up to the counter, right? It was a storefront, I thought. Do, can you no, sit, it? A, you can there, sit there in there? There were storefronts, like yeah. Like Chipotle yeah. style. Oh, build. it's like that? I think so. Where there's York, like seating right? in the Sabaro? Yeah. But why Chipotle? Well, we have, why was Chipotle I mean, your example? Because it's <laughs> just, it's just a, a fast can, casual diet. Yeah. It's like a pizza place you just can walk into. I I didn't go there. Because I've never been to Sbarro's outside places. the mall. I've never been to one in New York. So train station. I see them all over the Pennsylvania Turnpike when you're driving out east. Oh yeah, Sbarro's. Yeah. Hmm. I've never noticed that. I've made that drive a lot too. That's that's a great. That's those are the top. The top three, in my opinion. Sabaro. Does everybody have food court places? I don't have mine. I really regret taking AC because I should have not gotten cute, and I should have taken Sabaro or Cinnabon. So I regret. I have regret, Rhea. Um, Sabaro's a great pick. I don't think there's really anything left to say about it. It also usually has, like, at least at my mall, it had, like, the corner. It's got, like, a bigger spot, too, in the food court. It commands a lot of land. <laughs> a lot you know? of space. A lot of real estate. Yeah, it commands a lot of land. Uh, Dave, you're up again. Uh, can I draft Mallrats for Miscellaneous? The movie? Yeah. You've seen it? Yeah, of course I've seen it. Jason, I love Jason Lee. He's in my favorite movie. Almost Famous. He was in Enemy of the State. I'm fine um, with it. But it's not like it's it's a movie about malls. It's not like a mall experience. I don't know. That's what, it, that, that's what I had for Miscellaneous. What do you guys think? Or should it have to be something in the mall that he should take? Miscellaneous is a tough category, guys. It is. It's a very tough category. It is. It's why I jumped on AC. I'm getting very close to blaming the commissioner for this entire draft. Wow, Chief. <laughs> well, that's, that's I was excited up. about this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, what'd you take? Mall Rats, the movie. No. Any problem with Mall Rats? Does anyone want to veto that? No, I, I think I'm, I'm cool with that. All right. Mall rats, Dave, you get it? Cool. Fuck, I wish I'd known. I could have drafted mall rats. Chief, you're up again. Great movie, by the way, if you've never seen yeah. it. Yeah, it. it's, it's, it's a classic. Wait, what we. Oh, Dave. It's like one of those Sabaro. cult kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, see, now I feel like I'm going to get busted on this one, too. But I like part of my mall experience was like you were always built around going to the movies. Like we had a, a Charlestown Mall, has, I think that's the only thing that's left standing with that mall is the theater. Uh, but I would say go into the movies as part of the mall. I think that's fine. Movies is an activity. Yeah. So it's activity, right? Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think that's fine, Chief. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just seem nervous. Well, I, I thought that was going to get vetoed. because I don't know we have if, to I handle don't... you with care. Right <laughs> <now>. No. <laughs> no. Uh, but I, I thought it was going to get vetoed because I don't know if everybody's mall has a theater, but ours mm-hmm. definitely did. And it was one of those things where it's like, you're going to see the movie at eight, drop us off at six. Yeah. And then you just fuck around for a couple hours, go to the movie, and get picked up. Enough malls do that it, could, yeah. like, it definitely qualifies. Back when I was in high school, they turned, I, you've probably been there, um, they turned the movie theater at our mall into the foundry. Have you been to the Foundry before? It's the best off-track betting place in all of Chicago. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. So my about. dad would yes. send send the kids to the mall, disappear for hours, <laughs> and then come back. and be like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here and be like, why? He's like, I don't got any more money. Let's go. <laughs> and we it took us a while to figure out why he was taking us to the mall so much. And it was because he was going to gambling his face off on horses. 
Gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER if you yep. have an issue. Uh, Carl, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go into the miscellaneous category, and I'm going to take – this isn't an activity. This is just the miscellaneous. I'm going to take the mall Santa. I love a mall Santa. Yeah, Iconic absolutely. to a good mall. doesn't matter. I, it could be the hip. No offense. It could be Chicago Ridge, which aren't great malls. It could be Oak Brook. It could be Woodfield. It could be Mall of America, which, by the way, could you imagine being a Santa, a mall of America? That's got to be the most prestigious. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you? That's like is playing that word, shortstop for the Yankees. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's like fucking – are you kidding me? That's, Cow- that's like the Cowboys quarterback. Yeah. I love them all, Santa. Now, I have you sp- been to the Mall of America? No, I haven't. You know, my I've been there. I like watched D two the whole bunch twenty years ago. And they got the opening scene when he's skating through the Mall of America. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. So, that's one of the great montages in maybe cinema history. D two opening, yeah, roundup. I always say it real. That. Uh, my parents never took me to see the Santa at the mall. Why? Never. That's never. tragic. I'm the la- I'm the third. So by the time oh, they got oh, to yeah. me, they were like, eh. nah. mm, "See you later." Yeah. You're lucky if there's a picture of you somewhere in the house. We yeah. did the mall. We did the mall Santa picture until I want to say I was like 25. <laughs> <laughs> I could see your mom doing that. Yeah. Too. Where we no, we would do it yeah. for my mom every year, and yeah. she would always pretend like. You guys did it again? So there were a couple of years where it was tough, you know, when you're like 12, 13, and 14. And you're like, but oh, then this is embarrassing. Once then it we gets got, funny. Yeah, yeah. Once we got yeah, yeah, older yeah, yeah. and shit, we'd show up, and there'd be like 24, 26, and a 30-year-old, and the you know, and the sand would be like, what the fuck? Did you, they get paid more if it's a natural beard. Fun fact. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. You should have mall yeah. Santa. How the you should do, do like a mall that? Santa. I feel week. like the Wait, Mall of America ha- Santa has to have a real one. Have you I done have a mall to. Santa? Yeah, I had a mall Santa. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought he did. He showed up like dressed as Santa on the show and he was like reading, like he was like the naughty or nice. <laughs> was, he like didn't know that it was like a not like a fake inner, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that it was. This that makes it like even a, better. We didn't ask you to come in here and be Santa. We wanted yeah, to yeah, yeah. talk I wanna, about Santa. Yeah, like be, be Jim as Santa, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Who does Santa Claus around the holidays? Um, yeah, mall Santa. And it's a, a, big, it's a good big. business, too, for like malls to be in. Is you just like have the Santa guy show up where you pay him 30 bucks an hour, get a couple people to work the cameras, and then you sell these photograph packages are like thirty six ninety nine for like one wallet, mm-hmm. one eight by 10. Mm-hmm. It's an upcharge for glossy. It's an upcharge for frames. It's an upcharge for the magnet. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. nice business. All right, mall Santa off the board. I'm going to go activity. I'm just going to take arcade. Uh, I was not a DDR guy. If you were a DDR mall guy, I thought that I think that was suspect. <laughs> that was very suspect. <laughs> was anybody DDR people at home? My brother got yeah, addicted not to at the mall. Not at the mall, though. Not at the mall. <laughs> like be Dave a, and Buster's yes, DDR. <laughs> can't be that person. You're a show off if you are, unless if you're bad at it. Then it's like oh, I always used funny. to think those guys were like plants, like who were awesome at DDR. Yes, they were so fucking <laughs> good crazy. that they were like hired to look good and like draw attention to the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That, they were insane at it. My brother, <laughs> I swear to God, he would, like I would be in the fucking, in our basement growing up, just drenched head to toe because he was so addicted to Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good um, theory. Theory, I like that, Dave. Uh, but the, arc- I mean, the arcade, it has a different vibe. It's a little hotter. You mm-hmm. could like feel the battery smell in your yeah. nose. Yeah, it's just good activity. You know it's dirty, but you don't yeah, care. Yeah, you're grabbing all the handles yeah, that the, everybody else like is Like the Guitar grabbing. Hero yes. thing is Are like those? so slimy. Yeah. Are those still in existence? Our mall arcades? Yeah. Like to Dave some like Busters, post-COVID? Right? Yeah, I mean, Dave and... Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. People yeah. like... The claw machine will be around until... Mm-hmm. Like, it'll be cockroaches and claw machines <laughs> left yeah. on this earth. If it's the last thing that's alive. Um, Rhea, you're up. <sighs> What do you need? Activity and uh, clothing store. Okay. I'm going to do, I don't know how you guys are going to feel about this. Meeting up with your crush and walking around the mall as an activity. No, that's it's a, a great activity. Yeah. It's a perfect activity. <laughs> so <laughs> meeting up with your crush. Yes. <laughs> and walking around <laughs> specifically. All right. Meeting up with crush. Dave, any stories about doing this? <laughs> Not you were at the very, mall. You were like, that's a great pick. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it, it goes down with like mall lore. Like you would meet your crush at the mall. Yeah. yeah. 
I never did, but that's like peak. I know others did. And, so. and your friends too, but you guys would go off to different stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would act like, oh, oh, I want to go to PacSun. Oh, I want to go to PacSun too. Yeah, yeah, All right, we'll yeah. catch you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's exactly what they did at the end of the Super Bad. Yeah. The very last scene. Mm -hmm. And that was like when we were growing up and everything. So, yeah, it's perfect. It was a good spot to meet people from random schools, too. Like, different schools that you mm -hmm. went to was mm -hmm. always the mall. See, like, that's another, like, we didn't have that experience. No? No. So, I went to a private Catholic school, so when I would bump into the public school kids at the mall, it was, like, yes. a little a little intimidating. Yes. They were all wearing belly shirts a lot sooner than we were, like, yep. heavy, heavy eyeliner. Yep. It was very intimidating. Yep. You didn't have that experience at all? I mean, no, I don't Did think you, so. Carl? Like we had like the east yes. side of town, but like we didn't like everything was so separate that we just I don't know. I don't remember yeah. being like, oh, there's a kid. There, it would be like I don't recognize that kid, but it's not like you would go to meet up with him there. So mm -hmm. re, she took a great. I was kind of on the same lens with an activity of when you because I went to Catholic school. I know I did when you go to the mall and then you like flirt or meet the public school kids. <laughs> yes. And then like the rumors and the stories where it's like, yo, did you hear that girl gave a hand job to like Tommy? And you're like, you know, 13 years old, you know, 12, whatever. Yeah. You're just like, wait, what? Like those yeah. girls did? Like what's going on over there? And it's <laughs> like, I want to meet those girls. Yeah. Like there's a. In the same sense, though, like the girls that would hang out with us would be like, oh, I met the public school kids. Like, look at that guy. Mm. That guy's got like a fucking beard and muscles <laughs> yes. and stuff, right? Because like the Catholic kids, school kids were so. And you weren't allowed to have a beard in Catholic school. They made yeah. these kids shave every day. And so you couldn't have any facial hair. So you would see the public school kids and you were like, whoa, they look so much older. <laughs> yeah. Also wasn't a problem for me. <laughs> Growing facial hair. No, but that's a thing. I'm the it only was, public school kid here. Mixing grounds. Well, they would I'm make kids school. leave the classroom kind if they of. had a little stubble, and they would give them a oh, razor yeah. and shaving cream and say, you got to shave that off, which that is too. honestly terrible if you really think about it. Like, how are they supposed to control that? We couldn't have hair below our- Yes, the um, tail. Yeah, yep. we couldn't have anything. It would had to be- Yep. We'd wear a shirt and tie. Yeah, uniforms. Yeah. Solid colored mm -hmm. shirt. Mm -hmm. No, but yeah, and that's why the mall was so good because it's like you're not going to like hang out at someone's house with those kids. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> don't worry about these guys. They look like they're 22. You cannot invite <laughs> yeah. them over. And you didn't see them in the fucking play growing up. But yeah. like, yeah, so like the mall was like a good place to be like a little fucking. And the, the public school kids yeah. were yeah. always going into Hot Topic first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they loved Hot Topic. No, that's a good, that's meeting up with the crush. That's a good one. That's peak uh, butterfly season, too. Like, that was, like, you remember that shit. That's yeah. vivid memory. I was thinking that for miscellaneous, but that's definitely yeah. an activity, too. Mm -hmm. So, um, You're up again, Rio. Okay. What happens if I say a pick and then I want to take it back? Is there, like, a system here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you, did you not witness the first round? <laughs> so. I, I did, I did, but I was very confused during all that. Okay. If, if your hand is off the chest piece, yeah. you made it move. So I could just like talk about it, float it out there, <laughs> and not say that it's definite. Well, it's miss. You're on miscellaneous. No, 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 I'm on clothing store. Oh, well, I, th I think fuck. <laughs> I'm so torn on this one because this one store that I have in my mind is only in malls. Like it really is only in malls. I wouldn't necessarily get my clothes there specifically but they do have it is a clothing store mm -hmm. so now you're in i a, think i know where you're going and you're i think in, you should draft it i'm gonna go macy's oh no oh. Mm -hmm. macy's is huge my yeah. grandpa works at macy's and <laughs> they only exist in malls it is like the it's big a bookend anchor it's, yeah, store it's, the, it's yeah. yeah yeah like no them. i think that's that's like fine i don't have a problem but it's with not it. a great Pick. It's not great, yes. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's I don't know. Is it not a, it's not a bad pick though? It's a chief pick. You think so? I think so. Would it, uh, that, well, means, just like, that means I, I want to take honest? it back? <laughs> no, uh, hey, uh it's But I can't take uh, it back now, can I? No. I don't Fuck. think so. Well, I mean it was questionable. What was? But you know, I just expect Are they really only anything. located in malls? They are only in malls. I feel like I've only seen them as like the big anchor yeah. store of a mall. Yeah. There's Wait always a second. three. No. What do you mean, no? They're not only in malls, and now I'm mad that I'm remembering this. <laughs> I didn't think Fuck. they were. She's trying to play you. No, I mean, isn't the are. big Macy's the thing? Marshall, in New, New York, York City, City. there's yes. a big Macy's, but it's not a part of a mall. It's just the big Macy's. Right. But it's... Like I, the Macy's Thanksgiving parade or whatever. Yeah. You know what? 
there was a Macy's Thanksgiving parade. Fuck it, I'm I'm sticking with Macy's. Oh. Macy's, Macy's is a big store. It it's is. A, it's a huge but it's not store. A mall. Like I would have went, I would have went Hollister or Abercrombie. Yes. You should have gone Aeropostale. I, that was my other. Was it? Yeah. It's more yeah, it quintessential Molly, like M A L L Y. Because those aren't those are only found in malls. Expect a little more, real. Yeah. I mean, there's I'm I'm, ob- I'm upset. I even said it. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Expect a little more. Fuck. I thought I was thinking along the lines. Has everyone Dave was taken thinking. a mall yeah. store? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're gonna get fucked for leaving one of them off. People are gonna be mad. Well, we'll do it honorable yeah. mentions. We'll finish. There's this two up. that should have gone and didn't. Um, I'm so I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I don't know why I took Macy's. <laughs> I just figured it was such a big store. <laughs> um. I just need a food car place. I'm taking the nondescript Chinese place. <laughs> yes. Right? Like no like it's yes. not a certain brand. It's just a Chinese I had food that place. Down. And it's Wait, nobody, what is it? Nondescript Chinese food place. What was your fourth round pick? Uh arcade. Arcade. Mm. So like China Kitchen. Like yeah, the most Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like whatever. China Kitchen. Does everybody have their food place? Yes. Okay, the only time like I'll really go out of my way to eat Chinese food was Panda Express at the mall. I would get the orange chicken every time I was there. Yeah, see, Panda's like kind of taken over, which kind of makes me upset because when we were a kid, it was all like the random place where yeah, it's like, right, like China House. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was just not. It was just you know, but and every it was mall disgusting, had disgusting, greasy, yes. delicious Chinese food. Every yes. mall had a Chinese place that was not a script. I'm happy with that. Carl, you're up. Taking a breather. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I have an activity <laughs> that I think is. Um, I mean, there's some like cute, warm stuff on here. It's like, yeah, you're a little kid, you know, like hey, when your dad does this, or like I remember this and that. Rhea took the one that's probably most significant, which is like being the young guy, the opposite sex stuff. Chief took going to the movies. I would have preferred sneaking into the movies. I think that was that it's was kind of more. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on the uh, kind of on the ba- the bad boy train here. I'm just gonna take shoplifting. Um, so just <laughs> yeah. like being a young I'm glad kid you said it. and wanting something <laughs> yeah. and just being like, you know what, <laughs> fuck it. I'm 13. <laughs> How much trouble can it's I really get in? Yeah, they can't Already in a ton you. of trouble as it is. Yeah, yeah, just like I wouldn't have admitted this unless you draft unless someone else drafted shoplifting. I'm glad you did. I would gank the 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 little sample cologne bottles from the that were just sitting out in the store. Yeah, uh, we made a run on well, dicks. We were 16, and I had a guy who they're worth made a ba- baseball bat called the 3DX, and it retailed for like 3.99 in 2003 or four or something. And it was like the best mm-hmm. bat on the market, but you could it was hard to get and all this stuff. And Dix got a shipment. We were like, yo, let's go to Dix and get the Worth 3DX. Now, this is when the time a lot of other big bat comp launching bats, but Worth. Have you ever heard of a Worth bat? Yeah, I think I have. Like Louisville, yeah. TPX. Yeah, this yeah. is like under the radar shit. My buddy went out there with like wire cutters, all this stuff. We ran some fake screens where we talked to customer service and we were like causing trouble, you know, over by the basketballs and stuff. Meanwhile, Diversions. My, yeah, my <laughs> buddy like takes the electrical fucking thing off. Stuffs it down the front of his. He wore snow pants, like big, big, you know, like the old snow pants. You guys like really Ocean's thought this out. We yeah. Ocean's Eleven, and we sh- and we shoplifted a worth 3DX bat, then took it to, <laughs> and then used it that weekend in a game against uh, Lincoln Way East How'd in it a do? double header. I in the double header, I almost said I short hopped the left field wall with it, right, which man. isn't about me. But then we used the 3DX <laughs> so bat that whole the whole yeah. year. That was like the team bat. Full shoplift experience. That's like a donation from Dix. They should be happy. <laughs> it helped the team. They sponsor the team. Yeah, it helped the team. Yeah. I, it's you could say whatever you want. When you're young, you do dumb stuff. You break windows. You egg houses. You get yeah. in fights. Mm-hmm. So like, I have no fucking. I moral. got suspended my sophomore year of high school for the first three games of the season because I got caught egg in a house. Oh boy. There you go. A big thing was putting tin foil over CDs because they said it would like stop the uh, the, the beep, tracker. The, thing. Yes, the beeper. You know, when you walk out. You brought tinfoil. People with would bring you? tinfoil. Yes. <laughs> People, mm-hmm. not you. People. People. <laughs> Clothes. Uh, Chief, you're up. 
I'm um, so upset I picked Macy's. <laughs> yeah, I'm so upset. Tough clothes, tough fifth I'm round. I'm so upset because I've never Stop. bought clothes from Macy's. Fucking Rhea, 75 years old. <laughs> Everything else was solid because if you could, Macy's, now you just, this is like someone's grandma drafted <laughs> here. Like, Annie Ann's, Build a Bear, you like That's a her smell. That's her ringing endorsement. Going cr- for a nice indoor walk. Her ringing endorsed my grandpa works there. <laughs> I like the Macy's pick. I like the Macy's pick. <laughs> Chief. Speaking of Macy's, and this is one that like I still get a high from it, uh, no matter where it happens. But when it's at, when you're at the mall, when you're pulling in, and it's especially like during Christmas season when the mall is just fucking packed, and you get like a great parking spot. So like getting in that front row parking spot, like just finding like the perfect parking spot. <laughs> Was miscellaneous. <laughs> <laughs> so that well, makes I kind of I kind of like that. That like, makes the whole mall because experience. I go, like I said, I go to the mall like at least once every two weeks, yep. and there's a specific spot I park in, and I know it's there every time. And I get there, I pull right up. I know which store. Like I got my three stores are all in the same area, and you park right in that spot, and you walk in, and that, and it's, it's perfect. Awesome. Yeah. And I feel like they're usually by Macy's because no <laughs> one goes to Macy's, so you can get a good spot and walk right in. So you're drafting a parking spot. <laughs> I'm find, finding a great parking spot. If you look at no, 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 that is like I still like. Oh fuck, I got a great spot. Like I love that feeling. I love the pick. Thank you. The, I think you should have all. You should have tilted it towards Christmas season though. I said that in the description, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like, that's like, but like, there's something about like, and you're like, not walking through the cold front spot and, during Christmas. Like, well, no, something like, like if that, you walk but, up on a Saturday morning in October, there's no high from that. It's like the, it's like the high you get from like, it's crowded. There is something about getting a good spot during, Christmas. especially with the snow bakes. They take up fucking yep. eighteen spots. The, like, have you done the thing where you're just looping, looking for like for twenty minutes, looking for a yeah. spot? When you pull right in and get that spot, that is. That makes the whole mall experience. Yeah. I, Carl, You're laughing, Carl but hates it. I no, I don't hate it. I don't I, hate it. It's. I think it's. A, I think it's a good pick. I like it. I like it's a fifth round pick. It's, it's a, a miscellaneous it's a, pick. It's, I would have taken the mis- the Rio one for my miscellaneous, but it was gone. So what I say? He says you took a parking spot. <laughs> you guys don't appreciate. I, it. No, no, I like it. No. You see, for the record, it's it's completely fucking outrageous and stupid. But once I thought about, it, I'm like, ah, fuck. I immediately I love liked finding, it just because like of in how any walk I'm of life, driving I love in the mall so much me too. that yeah. it hit home. It did. Yeah. <laughs> parking related, I'd rather I'd rather fuck with people during a crowded parking lot. That's one of my all time favorite. When what you do you see, mean? Well, there's people waiting. They're trying, and you like go up to a car, like it's a it's a it's a car right away in the parking lot. You just like that, wreaking havoc at the mall. Yeah, <laughs> you're a troublemaker. Think, people think you're like getting into the <laughs> car, and they like <laughs> put the warning sights, and then you just like deke them out, and you go, you just the keep making your way down the aisle. You never do that. No. no, just like that seems fade. like That's a big Dave, you, of time. Dave, you blow stop signs on purpose just to enjoy yourself. Not completely true. He does the rolling stop, and when it's clear the other person has the right away, he jets in front of. Yeah, them. and then they give the palms up, and I just laugh in their face. Because <laughs> you know, like the <laughs> it's parking lot super crowded, you're like, oh, he's going to his car. He's going to his car. Oh, then you follow that person. Yeah, and you like that, follow that person well, because and that person <laughs> has been circling for thirty <laughs> minutes, and they're so fucking desperate. Yeah, I'm out to get you. Yeah, That's clearly. A point. All right, Dave, Mr. Irrelevant. Mr. Irrelevant, um, I don't really know how to word this one, but I am going with getting a massage at one of the massage kiosks. Like the $10, <laughs> five-minute massages. Not from a person, though, right? Like the, just the chair? It would, so there's a couple of them. Did you I just guess, take the sharper image, but you have to pay for it? No, no, no. no, no, no they have is, actual setups now yeah, where you can go yeah. get a... The a last out. one I can remember doing it was like an MRI machine, and it had water pressure that would, like, go harder and softer depending on the part of the body and it was like kind of like a car wash where it just go back and forth and i remember i got plunked twice in one game in high school baseball and i had like little bruises on my back so whenever the water pressure would hit those spots i was like ah and it was like loosening them up and stuff (laughs) that was pretty close and um (laughs) no so the massage chairs that's a that's a worthy pick i'm just making sure there's places like you could get massage like in the the store actual people that's like yeah who the hell wants to get a massage with everyone walking by? I, I don't. While you're laying on the table. Yes, nobody wants to do that. Yeah. That's a, a big airport thing. I, see, I feel yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Well, shopping can be stressful. That's like, right? Is that yeah, the yeah, basis yeah. of it? I don't know. Have I we done so. an airport draft? I don't we think must so. have, right? No? no. We should do one, though. We talked Best about airport, one worst once. airport. I take Midway. <laughs> um, all right. Let's do uh, honorable mentions. Uh, let's start with miscellaneous. How about that? Anybody have any other ones for those? 
I mean, we how we didn't take Claire's. No one took Claire's. We're in miscellaneous, pal. That, well, that yeah. would have been mall store. Oh, yeah. oh, oh I thought you said honorable no, mention. No, yeah, honorable yeah. mention is yeah, for miscellaneous. Okay. One thing that I used to do is I would take all my change and I'd go to the top floor of the mall and try to shoot it into the fountain. I did that. Oh too. yeah, a fountain. That was fun. Yeah, nice yeah, fountain. Yeah. yeah. Messing and it was tough. Like you had to really store. launch those quarters. And you what'd you say about a mattress store? Like messing around airplanes. the mattress yeah, store. Messing around. Yeah, like you never just laying, like laying up the, the mattresses beds and shit. at Macy's. Yeah, at Macy's. <laughs> yeah, it was funny until Dave and I had to spend a night in mattress firm in Cedar Rapids, Ohio. <laughs> <Yeah>. Iowa. <laughs> this Iowa. one's uh, Wait, kind of a horny pick, but like, I mean, creeping around near Victoria's Secret. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. That was big. Absolutely. You're that always mannequin like, has perfect taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought we were going to go the whole draft without getting horny. And it well, just... I don't know. It would have been a miracle. But it was, you know what I mean? Like, you're like, yeah. you were looking. It was like, you always just, your head was cocked towards Victoria's Secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, was that your store, by the way, that you were saying? Uh, Aeropostale. Oh, okay, okay. Aeropostale. Or Aeropostale. Aeropostale. I always saw it said Aeropostale. Um, um, I would wear Aeropostale, and looking back, I'm embarrassed at myself that I did. I think you just... just, a, just because just, those were the, you just the people that the couldn't year. get Abercrombie. Yeah, exactly. It was a poor person. Which is version. why I almost didn't want to pick our pastel because I was like, "You don't want to get made fun of for being be poor." Yeah. I, 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 now I'm at I hear Macy's. you there. I would, I would rock it all the time. And looking back, I was the poor kid for wearing it. <laughs> but I thought it was better though. Like, I thought the clothing no. style was better. You didn't think they always so? had the two for twenty T-shirt deals. They just copied Abercrombie and uh, Hollister. Yeah. All right, let's do clothes then. Forever uh, Twenty One. Yeah. Express. You probably, yeah. H and M. Limited two. <laughs> you guys don't know yeah, that. No, one, oh yeah. Limited oh, yeah. two was limited and limited two. Yeah. No. Two boring it's ones. Just here. limited two. <laughs> is it? There's a there's a limited. Isn't <laughs> no, there? It's T O O. Devin said yes. There what? is a limited. I'm sorry. Limited is older. Limited two was like the kid version, and then Justice was like that was the, the new limited two. Yeah, I've limited never heard two. of Justice. Mm-hmm. I knew there was Justice. a limited though. Justice was like the newer age limited two, but their stuff now is like it's like <sighs> unicorns and like it's just yeah a lot yeah of yeah and stuff like that. Limited two was like classier, you know. Mm-hmm. Good description. Uh, Thank you, Devin. I have uh, uh, Old Navy and Gap is kind of the uh, you know like. Real boring ones, and yeah. then the the one I thought for sure, like Eddie, I can't believe you didn't even bring this. Delia's, Stephen Berry's. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, so I I would shoplift from there too. It's super easy. <laughs> but then it, but then it, Dicks became more popular. Yeah, but like Stephen Berry's, you could go in, you get like a hoodie, shorts, mm-hmm. a pair of Stefan Marbury shoes. That was a candle for twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Like literally twenty bucks. And then the other one I had was Pack Sun. I was gonna draft mm-hmm. Pack Sun. Pac Sun. That's just yep. such a mall store. Yeah. yeah. Did um, Foot Locker. Yeah. Zoomies. Yeah. Oh, but that's Zoomies. 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 Journeys. Skating yeah. phase. Buckle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. great. Uh, mall stores. KB Toys. Did you guys yeah, have yeah. those? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And can we all agree that none of us have ever stepped foot into a Walden Books? A what? I love Walden Borders. Books. I, lo- I like. I, lo- to a I like the smell of a bookstore too. Yeah. Buckle finish line. I would, you know what I thought would have been good too is Sunglass Hut. Like sunglass Hut. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Bath and Body Works and those ones. Bath and Body yeah, Works that was, a big that one. was like, oh, I they get have my like a Sunglass Hut in I, Macy's though. I lost my <laughs> sunglasses <laughs> two days ago. I'm trying to sell so this I gotta Macy's go to a Sunglass Hut. That's where I get yeah. all my sunglasses from. Sunglass Hut still. Mm-hmm. No free ads. Um, food court. I got the Gloria New York, jeans. New York cheesesteak. Yeah, that I saw. I had that on my list. Uh, fuck, I, I always What's deleted. Gloria Jean jeans? Isn't that the coffee place? Yeah. Though? Jumbo is a great one. Yeah. You're going to draft a coffee place? Hmm. What happened? Gloria jeans? New York cheesesteak. Oh, Philly, Philly oh yeah, oh yeah. What is it? It's Philly yeah. cheesesteak. Yeah, 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 I had yeah, yeah, Philly yeah, yeah. steaks. That's why I didn't draft it. I couldn't remember what the name was. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Cheers, I'm sorry. Yeah. Great American Bagel. That's another one. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's pronounced D E B or Deb. But I remember that one. I'm mm-hmm. looking at a list there now. You weren't a big Gloria Jeans guy? Excellent. I have a buddy who swears that if they had the right like CEO, they could beat Starbucks. Their coffee's so good. But it's only in malls. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough. Any other things? Hurricane simulator I had for the activity. <laughs> 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 Fucking stupid ass things. I don't I don't remember. I don't, remember that. I don't think. They're kinda new school. They weren't really around when we were kids, but like it's so dumb. You've have you seen one? No. It's like you literally, you guys, you laugh, so you've seen it. It's like you go in like a, behind a door, like a glass door, and there's just like air blows on you. Yeah, you go in like a phone booth almost. Yeah, it's, like, it's stupid. 
Uh, it's like Twister at Universal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, anybody else? Yeah, the last thing I had was um, for activity was like, it was like smoking cig slash doing bad things with your friends. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like the mall was like breeding grounds for like, yeah, like you guys want to. You guys want to smoke this weed? Mm -hmm. You guys want to smoke these cigs? Yeah. You yeah. Know, like, so, hey, hey, the Polish kid, Sambor, brought some booze with him. You want to have a couple, you know. <laughs> For sure. It's I got true. kicked out the first time I was ever allowed to go on my own. His, kicked one of the, out from what? The For mall. Do, for doing what? Because one of the older kids threw a stink bomb in the food court. And you got blamed for and it? I got blamed for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did have. You You're did a mischievous it. kid, though. Like that's, Dude. Mis what did you say? Mischievous. 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 Okay. Mischievous. <laughs> Mischievous. What? I'm not even gonna what? fight what you, you on this because I say that I know it's mischievous, but I like mischievous better. I, is it I've like a tomato both. tomato thing? No, I've no it. it's not. It's mischievous. Uh, I've but heard I both. I used to say Did mischievous. Did I combine it with another word? No, mischievous it, it's totally spelled like it should be mischievous. I'm having a bad brain <laughs> day. I'm having an all time bad it's brain. Alright, Chief. Did yeah, you guys do senior right. pranks? Yeah, I got in trouble. We uh this kid, Greg, he's still a friend of mine. I haven't talked to him in a while. But anyway, shout he, out, Greg. He got this this little. It was like the size of an Elmer's glue bottle, and it was called Liquid Ass. Oh, dude, that shit stunk. It was worse than a stink bomb. Yeah, it was. Bad. He was fucking. He would he would like dribble it down the railings and shit. So when people were walking up or downstairs, they would like rub their hands all over the liquid. And all of a sudden, it's like, what the? F it smells like my nose is in an open asshole. That shit was bad. And Jesus that was Dave. that shit was I couldn't do a senior prank because we were still in playoffs for baseball asshole. on our way to winning state my senior year. Mm -hmm. No, did you win state? We went to super sectionals. <laughs> All right. Who was the pitcher you lost to? Uh, Jeff Rowan of Nequa Valley, who ended up getting drafted. He went to Northwestern. He was good. He was really good. Lost four to three. Macy's is kind of like a department <laughs> store. <laughs> And Just hold on, did you make the last out of that game? I made the first out in the last inning. We had bases shut, nobody out, and I swung a three-one pitch that was at my shoulders and fouled Carl, out. Carl, I know what you're doing. I could go on for hours. We still talk What's about wrong, that last guys? inning. I mean, we'll be here. The Rio's gonna miss her show if White Sox <laughs> starts talking about his baseball in high school. Oh my god. It still it still bothers Jeff me. Because Jeff Rowan wasn't big. I remember him being short. You, you right, know shut who up. Was, I'm, reading, right? I'm reading on the list one more time, <laughs> then we're getting out of here. Rhea, Auntie Anne's, Build a Bear, Smell of Abercrombie, Abercrombie, uh, Meeting Up with Crush, Macy's, <laughs> I can't with the Macy's. <laughs> Eddie Spencer's, Mall Air Conditioning, Champs, Arcade, Nondescript, Chinese Place, Carl Hot Topic, American Eagle, Cinnabon, Mall Santa, Shoplifting. Chief, sharper image, Mrs. Field. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Fuck you. That will go down as one of the worst picks of all time. Of all time. Well, Number one, too. It was bad. It was bad. It sharper was bad. image, Mrs. Fields, Hollister. I like sharper image. <laughs> Getting a good parking spot. <laughs> I like the last pick. White Sox, Dave, Abercrombie, and Fitch. Uh, FYE, Sabaro, Mall Rats, Massage Shares. All right, Rhea, thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Welcome back. I like this yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. um, good luck at your show. Um, all right, that's it, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.